what's up everybody, my name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 The Valkyrie playthrough. I have done some research and indeed the next mission, the Advent Network Tower mission is the beginning of the end. If we start that mission there's no more turning back but I can delay this how long, however long I want. Um, I'm not going to do that for too long, I just want to finish the Archon King autopsy so we can make the suit. Uh, and then with that we'll start checking out the remainder of our ability points and see how far that'll bring us. So let's go, first go to the bridge and let's just heal oh, faster. I'm not exactly sure if there is, is, is anybody still left that's uh, wounded. I don't think so but uh, at this point it doesn't really matter anymore. So let's just uh, heal faster. We'll complete the covert action. There we go. And we get a superior conditioning PCS, which is nice. We can do another one, but I don't We've think we'll be able to finish one. one. So I'm going to go back and we're not going to do any more covert actions. This is over. Um, we don't need to check that anymore. We're in the end game now. And after four more days, the game seems to also realize that we're almost done. Yeah, Mio gets her next ability, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use her. So the Void Rift is there. I could continue the training. I don't think that really matters at this point. Uh, I could go into... Oh, give some... Give her insanity, maybe. I don't think it really matters anymore. And there we go. The Archon King Autopsy complete. Let's check it out. I firmly believe that Dr. Valen's unbridled ambition, left without the commander to maintain some semblance of reason, led her to pursue a path of research that was as misguided and regrettable as my own service to Advent. And there we go, the final alien ruler autopsy done. We can make the Icarus armor, which is a project in the Proving Ground. So sadly, I'm gonna have to check that out as well. Um, I could do either of those, let's just do that since I have the, the resources available. Uh, let's go to engineering. So five more days for the Icarus armor and then we will be done. So uh, let's finish that up. We get the intel from the data pad. I could assign another one, doesn't really matter at this point. I can just, huh, improve the assault rifles. That is nice, I guess. But I don't think we'll go that far. I think I'm just gonna end it after those three days so let's continue healing faster ah crap we get another guerrilla operation i am going to ignore that i think it's it's yeah it's no use anymore that we do that so let's just ignore for once commander we have a mission available that's reliant on time sensitive information we can always finish our scans later but failing to take on this mission could have serious repercussions for the resistance movement I mean, yeah, I don't know what actually happens when you skip one of these. I'm gonna just quickly look this up. So I would get a dark event. And the current dark events that could be triggered are either... You know what, I'm gonna reveal that. Um, the black market is closed. Advanced stifles the movement of resistance resources. Decreasing the supplies of the next supply drop by 50%. Or missed shots on advent officers and priests will trigger a return fire. So the return fire one... Is the most annoying one um but i don't think i care enough for the coming missions yeah i'm not gonna care enough so let's just ignore that we're gonna ignore it we're gonna skip the mission here we go and there we go mission expired they will show you take advantage of our hesitancy to move forward with their plans does really care there we go psionic training complete carry on and we got the icarus armor um, so the flight components recovered from the Archon King when combined with our standard issue armor system resulted in an armor suit with high damage resistance and improved mobility. The built-in propulsion system allows temporary flight, enabling the wearer to rapidly change locations. Which is really, really good on a ranger, I think, even. Imagine that, a flying ranger. But with that done, it's high time that we go towards the network mission there we go the advent network tower we have a lot of intel the intel allows us to buy extra uh, perks for this mission and this will also be an option in the next mission so we're facing andromedons archons codexes and spectres so no 
Advent Troopers uh, anywhere, even though that dark event might still be active. So squad, squad wide individual concealment, there we go. Squad reflexes, dodge increased by 33. Override gains complete immunity from the next two attack and extra soldiers. So we'll be able to take, I think, four people on this mission instead of the normal three. Let's launch. Commander, once we move on the Advent Network Tower, it's all or nothing. We won't have time to advance our research or deal with the wounded. We should only deploy once we're fully prepared. And we are fully prepared, as prepared as we're going to be. So let's launch this mission. Course for Western United States. I think we could still build items, so I'm gonna be able to buy the upgrade for the uh, the Archon King suit, the Icarus armor. The Avatar project is very low. If we're going to infiltrate the Advent Network Tower. We'll have to use a smaller squad. Try to draw less attention to ourselves than we already do. Huh, there doesn't seem to be an upgrade for the Icarus armor, so I'm going to assume that it already is at the highest possible level that it can be. Um, I don't think I need any other items. Uh, we've been doing fine so far, so I think we'll just make the best out of this. Um, so clearly this is not going to be the team that we're going with. Um, I am gonna try and bring back, uh, well, bring with us a B team, because these guys are not gonna be the guys that, well, the women, that are gonna go on the final mission. So this is just the mission, the penultimate mission, so we need to secure that Advent Network Tower. If people are wounded there, we can't heal them, so it's best that we don't take the best people that we have on that mission. So let's remove everybody here. And this is going to be it. This is going to be the team for Operation Bleeding Priest where we secure the Advent Network Tower. It's a good mix of a little bit of everything. And uh, since we're not going to take the Templar or the Reaper on the final mission, this should be it. Um, I could have used Banish on the final mission, but I don't think it uh, outweighs the benefit of everything else um, that we can do with the other squad mates, the other Valkyries, the other classes basically. So we're going to take Marina as a Grenadier, Sarah as our Specialist, Lena as our Templar and Elena as our Reaper. Here we go. Commander, it's time we put Advent down for the count. This will be a two-pronged assault. First we hack the heart of the Advent Tower and disrupt their network before the speaker finishes his latest broadcast. Shen's cooking up a little surprise for them that should more than get their attention. With Advent in an uproar, we'll access the portal and take the fight to their front door. All goes well, they won't even see us coming. It's risky, but it's the best shot we'll get. Once we start this, there's no turning back. There we go, we have already started it. So the hacking is also part of why we took a specialist on this mission. And uh, I'm not planning on taking two specialists on the final mission, so this should be fine. So this is it. This is for all the marbles. This is a fixed mission, so the layout is always the same. The transmitter is at the very end of this uh, rooftop. But we do have four people instead of three, which is really good. And everybody gets individual concealment. the access point and hack in to seize the broadcast signal. So that means that if anybody loses... Okay. Oh yeah, XCOM 2 is a very stable game, by the way. <laughs> that, was, that was ridiculous. Okay, so the individual concealment means that if somebody is revealed, the entire squad is not revealed. It's on an individual basis, so we're just going to move up. There is no... Um, I don't think there's a timer. And we have protection of, for the first two attacks, so I think this will be uh, pretty easy. Um, we have a straight shot forward, so we'll just move up. And as we move up with Elena, we already mark a few enemies. There we go, an Archon and an Andromedon. That Andromedon is going to be the biggest problem because of its entirely huge health bar. We can actually move up a little bit more aggressively since we are in concealment. And that's exactly what I'm going to do, so we can get the drop on them in the next turn. We will always have the upper hand. There's only 10 enemies here, but since we have Elena, we will always have the upper hand since she can re-engage in shadow. So even though they uh, disappear, we will still be able to spot them since Elena has spotted them as well. So the abilities should be perfect for this mission. Now, 
That's just a move to the side. I could start firing at them, but they're still very far away. So I think... Hmm. I probably should actually start firing at them. Um, usually I start this off with a grenade. And since we have salvo, might as well do that. Um, oh, I can actually reach the other side with a grenade launcher. Oh, we can. We can, we can, we can. Uh, so over here, although they might actually be too far. Let's move up one more turn. They seem to be moving towards that building and I want to avoid triggering two batches of enemies in one go. So I think I'm just going to pop, um, pop a grenade inside of the building and see what happens after that. Is this, uh, yeah, this might not be so great. Um, so plasma grenades. Ah, and of course now I can't reach anymore. Okay, then I guess we'll have to check that out a little bit closer to see if there's anybody inside of that building. Um, I would assume there are. I think there are, yeah. So there's a Codex and a Spectre on the other side of the bridge. Which means that we should probably pull back. I'm not exactly sure if if we put ourselves over here that we spot the other aliens. No, we don't. Uh, our aim chances are pretty good though, so I'm just going to put everybody... Okay on the corner of this building, and then we'll see what we'll do next turn. So they are actually leaving, they are, they are actually moving away from us, so I'm gonna try and see what happens if we uh, hold off on a few more turns. Although these guys are now moving out of sight. Which is good. Because uh, that might give us a chance to infiltrate the building and fire from over here. Ah, oh, they keep going further to the sides there, but I think, yeah, they're holding still. If the Codex and the Spectre don't move into view now, I'm going to start attacking. This is uh, pretty tense, because the Andromedon has a lot of health that we need to overcome with just four people. Um, did the Codex and the Spectre move back into view? I don't think they did. So I can only see the Andromedon. Yeah, I think I can only see those two enemies from over here. So Marina gets the first shot. I'll let her toss a grenade right into the building over here. Yeah, a grenade should be a good first start. And hopefully that doesn't trigger the Codex and the Spectre as well, because then we are royally screwed. There we go. That's 6 damage on the Archon and 4 on the Andromedon. The Andromedon still has a bit of health left. And they move to... Oh, and they spot... Yeah. Of course, that's with the individual uh, concealment. Because I think, yeah, these two are still concealed. Um, now. We have actually a 93% chance to hit the Archon. Which is really good. That is actually really good. So 93% shot, yeah, definitely. There we go. That's 10 damage and burning on the Archon. And he's going to be really, really mad, of course. Uh, that means that we can finish this off with a rend. I'm going to have to be careful. I think if I do it like this, I actually hit the... Yeah, I actually hit the Andromedon as well. But... Elena already has... Ooh, that, Archon, uh, that Andromedon is in really good cover, though. And if I move up, I'm going to spot those two guys. Uh, so I'm going to use my first Claymore here. I think I might be able to take both of them out with that. Yeah, let's do this. So the Shrapnel Claymore. It's going to shred the Andromedon and kill the Archon. So, without actually risking anybody to get too close. And Blamo. That brings the Andromedon into the range that we need. But, since the armor is gone... Hmm. Might as well try and take it out like this. You know what? No. I need that extra protection from... Uh, Lena's rend. I'm gonna probably, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna spot the um, the Spectre and the Codex. But like this, we get the protection, the parry on Lena. And Lena will be in the worst position to get hit there. Yeah, of course you spotted her. I just put her right in front of you. Um, it's. I don't know what's happening. 
Yeah, I think the animations are going in the wrong order because he resurrected before I killed him. <laughs> Which is a bit weird. We gain a focus, but of course we'll spot the two, yeah. The Codex and the Spectre. The Codex can't really do much damage. Um, and the Spectre usually goes for Shadowbound instead. So I think if I just parry, I should be fine now. Uh, what we can do is try and hack the Andromedon. Because um, if I manage to do this, then we have an extra unit on our side. Sarah has the best hacking stat of any of her soldiers, so uh, we're definitely going for controlling the enemy. We have double the... Oh my fucking god, are you serious? That was ridiculous. A 72% chance with double the hack stat. Okay. Uh, and that gets rid of her turn as well, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, so they only have one move because of tactical analysis. Um, but that doesn't uh, stop the Codex from both teleporting and using the psionic bomb, apparently. Not that much of a problem. Although the Spectre being on Overwatch is a problem. Oh, crap. Ooh, this doesn't look good now, does it? I should have brought more people. Okay. Okay. That's a parry on the melee strike from the Andromedon. And the psionic bomb we need to move out of. But of course the Spectre. We are protected for, from the first two attacks though. So this isn't as bad as it looks. I do get a free reload on Marina. We need to check where that actually ends. Because there's basically no cover left otherwise. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Um, Elena. Is gonna go into shadow again. I think I can do that. Ah, crap, she is in sight. Okay, never mind. That's uh, kind of a waste then. But uh, I am gonna move her out of the area here. I don't think. Yeah, the Spectre gets the Overwatch shot. If we hit, we hit. But I think it is missed. So I don't think that was the protection. And of course, they spotted us. That's not a problem. But that's a full hell. Andromedon. I'm not going to use Banish on that just yet. Uh, I need to reload. Which ends her... Yeah, which ends her turn since she doesn't have an autoloader. Not that much of a problem because I have a plan for that. Lena can give a bond action to Elena. So at least that way she gets a shot. Uh, that gives us ooh, the possibility for a dual strike. But a dual strike isn't going to do much. Not against the Andromedon anyway, because anyway. that's 5 to 6, and then... No, that's not going to do much. We could try and fire at the Codex, but that's only a 61% chance. So I think I'm just going to fire at the... Yeah, at the Andromedon. So that's up to 6 damage with no chance for a critical. We need to take this one at a time, so that's 6 damage. Let's take out that Andromedon. Um, we're going to move up to the back here. Need to be careful. Because of course that other Andromedon has an Acid Bomb. I'm not entirely sure if I have free reloads. I don't seem to have free reloads on this weapon. So what I'm going to do instead is use a combat protocol on... Ah, that just doesn't kill it. But maybe it does kill... Does it kill the Codex? That's a robotic enemy, right? So that should also do 10 to 11 damage, but apparently it's not doing that. That's just combat protocol, this guy. And zap him. And that's 11 damage. That's too bad. Okay, then we have Marina's action. Marina's gonna have to go... To the side of this bench. Let's move already. Not entirely sure if she has an autoloader. Um, yeah, we have a free reload here. So that means that we can take a shot at something here. If we want to go... I think I'm going to have to play it safe. 
I think I'm going to have to grenade like this. That removes a lot of cover. I'm fully aware of that. So we're going to be in a very bad position to start firing at anything else. And that's going to split up the codex. That's going to split up the codex. Um, yeah, because as long as I don't kill that codex, I'm going to be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, I'm going to have to try it. I'm just going to have to use that grenade. Uh, I'll be able to kill one of the two copies with Lena normally. Because that one is going to stay there. I could have tried Rend as well, but Rend isn't going to... Yeah, there we go. That's six on the Codex, and the Codex is probably going to split up. This is a lot more complicated than I expected it to be. You will never hide from me. Um, but now... Um, I could do... No, the Psionic Storm, they're going to be too far away from each other. Uh, and Volt... Ooh, Volt actually does more damage as well on the Codex. I should have checked that first. Does Rand also do more damage then? That is... Interesting. Um, yeah, this isn't going to reach, so... Let's put it as far away as possible, but out in the open, so we can catch a few uh, hits with the parry. There we go, and Ren goes up to its maximum power, which is great. And then we can parry. And that's the end of our turn, with about four enemies left. We have Untouchable... Ooh! Crap! I didn't realize she was still... Marina was still in the area, apparently. Now, the Spectre is probably, probably gonna Shadow Bound somebody. And he's going for... Yeah, Elena. That's not too bad, because he's in a really bad position. Although, he probably, he'll probably move out now. Yeah, okay. So, Spectre is a priority now. And he goes outside. That's good. That's close enough for us to deal with. With maybe... Okay. So let's first check what this, this does. Cause... So we'll get a shoulder on Lena. That's good. So that is a parry. Exactly what we wanted. Parry one. Now we have the Archon and the Andromedon still left. Can this guy fire an acid bomb across the field? No, he can't. He can't. That's a parry. Oh no, the parry doesn't work anymore. Ooh, I thought we were protected against the first two attacks. That didn't work. I've seen her parry multiple blows. The power leaves my body. Oh wow, she's almost dead. Okay. She's almost dead, but we have a healer. No panic just yet. Okay. So the Spectre needs to go down first. Oof. Damn, this is rough. This is really rough. Uh, I could go and rend the... Why? How the hell is that thing up there right now? Um, hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I could do capacitor discharge as well, but I think healing, first and foremost, healing on Sarah. Uh, no, not on Sarah, on, on, you know, Lena. There we go. Healing one. And that heals off 8 HP. So I'm guessing we should probably do a second one. How are my shots? Uh, Non-existent, because I don't. I need to reload before I do anything. But I also have Capacitor Discharge. Are there enough people close by to hit with Capacitor Discharge? There actually are. The Archon and Andromedon are close enough together. That does 7 to 10 damage. But the Andromedon is not yet a robotic enemy. So that is going to be... Interesting. Um, let's move Marina to the back here. I'm gonna have to play defensively here. Um, then hit the Spectre from the back. He could dodge this. If he does, I'm fucked, but no. Okay, that's 8 damage, which is enough for then Lena to move in and hit the Spectre. Um, so let's rend the Spectre, the Spectre, the Spectre, the Spectre, the Spectre please. Thank you. So, like uh, this. I will tear you apart. And that's a good hit. That removes the shadow uh, as well. I don't know what we're going to do with that loot, but there we go. A Lyrim core. Whoop the fucking do. There is nowhere to hide. 
And then we get momentum and we get Elena back. Now, I am too far away to do something about the Archon over there. I'm going to put Lena into parry to block further damage. But we have a shot at the Archon here. I could banish the Archon. That's 50-50 on a an almost full clip. With the repeater as well. I could even move closer, but I don't really have a good position for her. I'm going to try and move up with Elena, as in move her up top. Moving is ordered. You can never escape my sight. So, I'm wondering what sights I'm going to have from up here. If I see the Archon from over here, I don't. I do have a shot at the Codex from here, so I'm going to try the 73. That was a miss. And only two damage on the stock. And we get another teleport on the other side of the map. Okay, but I'm going to take it out with uh, a combat protocol then. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that leaves Sarah in a very bad position. I realize that. But we are away from the biggest threat. So there's only an Andromedon and an Archon on the field anymore. I say all only, but that this is... What is he going to do? Is that a blob? No. Oh, God. Marina got hit with 13 damage there. If the Archon also goes for her, this might end badly. Yeah. Okay. That is... Whew. There goes Marina. Um, but yeah, this is the final mission. <laughs> we knew it was going to be tough. Okay. That Andromedon still stays in the back. He did 15 damage, by the way. He shredded 2 and then 13 on the critical. So let's move Lena, Elena over here. She gets a 73% shot on the Andromedon. If I don't use Banish now, I probably don't need to use it anymore. So let's just Banish the Andromedon. That's one. Another one that shreds the entire bit of armor. And I think, yeah, we killed it. Okay, so he goes into melee mode. Great. Um, the Archon is actually vulnerable. If I reload Sarah. Is she still in cover? She is. 97% chance to hit, so let's do that. That's 9 damage. And then we can rent the Archon to get our uh, parry. Because I don't think we'll... Ooh, wait a second. Wait a second. We can turn... Oh, this is... This just seems like ironic justice, doesn't it? We're going to make Marina into a ghost. Here we go. Because I was wondering, there are no humanoid mi uh, enemies on this mission. So there we go, Marina's back, kind of. And then we get one more action with that ghost, if I'm not mistaken. That's the only thing we can do. Uh, and I think we technically can kill the Archon. Um, so let's do that. Hopefully kill it. It is an extra target as well. There we go, it's even a critical. Down goes the Archon, and we're back with four people, kind of. Uh, let's parry that. So now there's only a melee Andromedon left. He's gonna probably start charging. Where is he going? Where is he going? Okay, he is going for uh, for the ghost. Okay, but that seems... That's okay then, I think. Because I can flank him again. Um... Yeah, with Lena, although I don't have... I'm reloading. I need to reload. And that's probably my first... Okay, I do have a shot from over here. That's a 100% shot. Okay, fair enough. Fire away. That's six damage. And I think we're going to have to sacrifice the remaining ghosts. Although I could just go over here. Yeah, let's go over here with Sarah. 
I could try another hack, but I'm not gonna risk it this time. So let's just uh, fire away and then we can finish this off with uh, with Lena. Ah, that's too bad we lost Marina, but it is a final mission. So uh, casualties, we're gonna be all, we're always gonna be a part of this. There we go. Blam! No big explosion. And that's the sixth enemy down. So this is not the end, by the way. There are more enemies. There are more enemies. Um, is there anything else we can do? No, I'm just, I'm just gonna end the turn. Whew. Okay. We got out of this a little bit. I probably should use Sarah to heal Lena as well. That we're as healthy as possible, because this is going to end badly otherwise. So I'm reenacting the train maneuver where we just stack everybody on top of each other. And we get a turret. Okay, that is going to be... I could actually hack that thing. I should probably do that. Let's move up first. Um, so we can get a better look at it. But uh, hacking works from uh, any distance usually, because I don't even see it at the moment. Let's use Haywire Protocol on the third. And I am going to take it over now. Come on, give me that... Uh, there we go, 77% chance. That would have made all the difference, by the way, in the, the previous uh, encounter. If we uh, took over that Andromedon, that would have saved our asses and probably saved Marina's life. Because uh, we could have used that thing as an extra target, as an extra attacker. So now the super heavy turret is ours. We might spot a few more aliens now in the back, but it doesn't seem like it. So let's just move everybody up and uh, prepare for our final assault on the central broadcast array. So we're right in front of the final door. Uh, and the turret is just going to go on overwatch. Uh, is there anybody else I can put on overwatch? Nope, just a ghost. So let's just end the turn. It's still hacked, it's still blue, so if you manage to get through the door before that, the turret won't even be able to uh, hit us anymore, so it's uh, become irrelevant. So even hacking it isn't going to really help us here, but uh, if we get into the building, that should be it. We can hack it on the other side of this room, but I'm pretty sure that we'll encounter something along the way. So let's just put the Templar Ghost as far into this building as we can. The reason why I'm doing that is because she is expendable. She is not really here anymore. She's just a fragment of what Marina used to be. So let's just burst down the door and go inside. And we spot two, three more codexes. In range. Move to hack the command console. So I think we can even take those out pretty easily with Rend if they... Uh, yeah, if they position themselves a little bit. Um, so that's... No. 9 to 10, but not a kill. Okay. But we do have the Ionic Storm, which will not do anything aside from angering them. Um, let's see. I wonder how far you need to be to hack that console. Seems like we need to be pretty far away. Um... The problem is, is that we don't really have an extra attack anymore. So I could use Rend on any of these um, codexes. If I do, I'll probably go for this one. If I Rend um, the one over here, I'm pretty close to the center of the area. So I Rend like this. We're going to start playing with psionic abilities here, so we're going to have to be really, really careful. So both of these are going to split. I'm very well aware of that, but because I rend it, I'm going to get focus, I think. Or we could have gotten focus. Did we get focus? Oh, wow, that one actually teleports outside. It doesn't seem like we're getting anything. Okay, that is annoying, but not out of the realm of possibilities, because... I still have the capacitor discharge from Sarah. That codex, I think that codex might be too far away to actually spot this. Um, does Elena have a shot on that thing? She actually does. 84% chance to hit. Since that thing is probably the, the most annoying one out of our reach, I'll probably do that. But I'm going to give my bond action to Lena before we do that. There we uh, go. So that 
allows us to actually take, in, take out those two over here. So now we can rend from this side. It says I'm going to hit myself, but of course I'm the one moving, so that's not going to hit myself. And that gives me a double kill with a rend. There we go. We can parry again if we want to. There we go. Now, capacitor discharge on the inside of the... Can I actually see one with the third? No. Capacitor discharge needs to go in. I'll probably move yeah, Sarah over here. And I can't use capacitor discharge for some reason. Oh no, capacitor discharge over here. Uh, so that is not big enough. Okay. Uh, so that means that we need to take a shot. I can fire at both of these, so let's just yeah, shoot at the codex over there. That seems to be a hit, 12 damage. Then we can fire again, which is good. Let's do that. And we graze that one, which means that it just doesn't die. And it goes back inside, which is actually in our f actually works in our favor. That actually works in our favor. I could probably shoot it from over here now. No, that's the other one. We have a rend available. If we do this, it's probably going to go through the wall. But the question is, is it going to damage the objective? I hope not. Well, here goes nothing. That's a second rend from the ghost. We still have one more left. There we go. That kills off that second codex. And that clones him even. Because he has two health left. That's annoying. Um, but we still have Elena shot. And Elena might be able to kill one of these. Um, so 79. Come on, Elena. There we go. We get another Codex kill. And then that's basically it. Because the, the turret will not be able to do anything. And our two Templars are on to parry. The turret is still hacked though. So the Codex teleports to inside of the building, but ooh, why? Why would you do that? Ah, you asshole. Okay. Not that much of a problem. I don't know if the ghost can actually hack the terminal. I should probably not uh, test that too much. Um, I was just going to go in, because um, I can kill the final Codex with another Renz, the final one of this mission. So we definitely got our use out of the Templar. But uh, yeah, we lost we lost our final Valkyrie, hopefully. Our final Valkyrie of the game. We might lose one in the final mission, but I'm hoping we don't. Um, then I'm going to move up Elena. She can't really do anything from here either. Um, we need to move everybody inside anyway. Um, and then I could... I'm wondering, if I put Sarah over here, swap back to... Elena. No, Elena has already done that. Okay. I can't move to the objective just yet, but I can with Elena over here. So she could probably hack the broadcast array. Like this. And then... No, she can't. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Then uh, we'll just have to go to the next turn. Because uh, Sarah is too far away to do anything about this. I think the hack was lost. Yeah, the, ha the turret is no longer hacked, but that doesn't really matter because the turret clearly couldn't hit us when we're inside of the building because we couldn't hit the enemies. Uh, so I think this is going to be over. So if we move Sarah right next to the console, this is going to be over. We could probably hack it from, from where she is. Uh, so let's just move to her and hack the workstation. Objective complete. Uh, and we get a large cache of intel. Of course we can. There we go. Done. Hands free. We've done it. There we go. Whew. Status confirmed. We have control of the network tower. The signal is going out. And that's it. So one of our soldiers got killed, but uh, we took 15 turns, which is... Uh, that shows you how much of a difference to... Well, being down two soldiers makes. 
because uh, yeah, we were really struggling with those double Andromedal and double Archon basically as well. So, but we succeeded. And there goes everybody. Firebrand has cleared the perimeter, sir. Meeting limited resistance. Well done, Doctor. Yes, it would appear the feedback pulse is having the intended effect. Shen, status. Did it work? Advent assures us this breakthrough will be available to all citizens immediately. We go live to the speaker for more. Fellow citizens. For 20 years, we have put our trust in Advent, in the Elders, because we believed a better future is possible for all. Today, that trust, that belief has been rewarded. Advent peacekeeping forces are traveling across the world, carrying the greatest gift from the Elder. A revolutionary gene therapy, yes. So much more. This is an end to disease, to decay, to pain. The beginnings of a new tomorrow available to all of us today. Truly, humanity finally takes its rightful place amongst the stars. Yeah, your uh your luck is up, buddy. And that's it. There we go. An ultimate mission completed. Marina paid the ultimate price. I'm glad to see that our cooperation with the Resistance factions is going so well, Commander. Their soldiers seem to be a big help around here. Yeah, they were, but sadly... Um, there we go. Let's memorialize Marina. There we go. Adventure. There we go. Oh my god. That's too bad. She never made it to uh, the final rank as well. Uh, so let's just take that photo and remember her by that. Let's uh, hope she's the final sacrifice we need to make. And then we got yeah, a bunch of stuff that we'll never be able to use. Because there is no more... There is no more hesitation now. We need to go on the Alien Fortress mission. No more other things we can do in between that. I might retrain, uh, just use a few more ability points, but uh, this is gonna be it. Next up, the Alien Fortress mission. It's gonna be a long one, people, but uh, I think we've uh, pretty much proven that you can also beat XCOM 2 by using only female soldiers. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, next time we're gonna finish this. See you guys in the final episode of uh, XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Thanks for watching and goodbye.